So Denzel Washington returns as Robert McCall in The Equalizer 3. This will be the last installment, and once again, Antoine Fuqua is in the director's chair. This time, we find Robert McCall living in a small town in Italy where he begins to find happiness along with a new meaning of life. But once again, chaos finds him. The mafia. They like cancer. No cure. But this time, Robert feels as if he has a lot to lose and he's not about to start running. Elias Blythe. You can't take that from me. This film is a bit more three-dimensional than the first two films. In this film, he finds a new love that he feels he can live out the rest of his life with, along with people in his new town of residence who seem to give him a sense of family, love, and purpose, which is something that he has not had in a very long time. For you. For my son. My baby. <laughs> And I'm starting to believe. This is my wife, Chow Chow. Oh. Chow Jung Chow. They see you as one of us now. This is where I'm supposed to be. This time, however, the bad guys are more ruthless, vicious, and more ambitious than their previous counterparts. <laughs> The fight scenes are sharper and more sophisticated than ever before. That's the median nerve that I'm compressing. That's a level three. If it goes to level four, you will shit on yourself. The cinema photography is also warmer and more film-like than it is digital. You seem like a man who understands violence. This could be the best of all three equalizers by a wide range. The Equalizer 3 opens in September 2023, and we're ready. Whatever it is you and your friends do, do it somewhere else. Are you warning me? I'm preparing. <laughs> Is that a Timex? No, it's a boot. Nine seconds. 